Good morning. This is from the National Eclipse blog. Uh, X marks the spot. Two total solar eclipses in seven years. This came out June 28, 2016 by NationalEclipse.com. We have this eclipse happening on August 21st of this year, coming in from this direction. Okay. And then on April 8, 2024, we're going to see the eclipse, another eclipse, going this direction. So, X marks the spot right here. Okay, okay. Um, on August 21st, 2017, America will be treated to its first coast-to-coast -coast total solar eclipse in nearly 100 years. That's why we're calling it the National Eclipse. From Oregon to South Carolina, the eclipse will, be, will trace a 67-mile-wide path across the country, and millions of Americans will witness a once-in-a-lifetime event as the moon passes between the Earth and the sun and day turns to night for up to almost three minutes. Okay. Um, you know. It has been said that on, on average, a total solar eclipse can be seen from the same place only once every 375 years. The methodology used by whoever calculated this number is unknown, and it's debatable whether there can be even be a definitive methodology for such a calculation. For instance, how many points on Earth do you use to arrive at an average number of years? But regardless, Sorry, my cat loves to chew on my wires. Okay. But regardless of the math, there's no denying the fact that a total solar eclipse is a relatively rare event for any given place. So, for an area to get not one, but two total solar eclipses in just seven years is a truly remarkable occurrence. All right. In areas spanning parts of Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, will be the nexus of the next two solar eclipses to occur in the United States on August 21st, 2017 and April 8th, 2024. Because the 2017 eclipse travels across the country from northwest to south southeast, and the 2024 eclipse makes its way through the nation from southwest to northeast. The two paths cross each other and create a zone of over overlapping totality of almost 9,000 square miles, or roughly the size of New Jersey. So let's click on this real quick and try to enlarge it. All right, so this is the area right here. All right. So although no major American cities are located within the totality zone, a few decent sized ones are. In Illinois, Carbondale is located in the northern uh, quadrant of the zone and Marion is located in the eastern. In the southern quadrant, there's Paducah, Kentucky. Yeah, I'm sorry, I have a really hard time pronouncing some of these in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Farmington, Missouri is located in the western quadrant. The Shawnee National Forest is completely enclosed within the zone of totality and both the Mississippi and Ohio rivers run through it. Whoa! Wow! Okay. The, <clears throat> the center line of any total solar eclipse path is where totality lasts the longest. And cities located on or near this line often promote themselves as being the very best place to view an eclipse. Of course, when two eclipse paths cross, there can only be one singular point on Earth where both center lines meet. For the 2017 and 2024 eclipses, X marks the spot 
near the eastern shore of Cedar Lake in Jackson County, Illinois. Whoa. Okay. Uh, technically the closest town to this exact astronomical treasure map spot is Makanda, population about 500. The nearest city of any size is Carbondale, located about three miles to the northeast. In fact, both Makanda and Carbondale are touting themselves as the place where the two center lines cross. With Carbondale and its Southern Illinois University partner adopting the tagline, Eclipse Crossroads of America, we'll just split the difference and give Jackson County, County the bragging rights. Uh-oh. Hang on, I've frozen. Pause. Boy, I hate when that happens. Okay, so, um, after, okay, here's the center point right here. The center line crossing uh, of the 2017 and 2024 eclipse. Cedar Lake, right here. After 2024, eight, eight more total solar eclipses will occur in the U.S. this century, resulting in a few more centerline crossings. We'll dedicate a future blog post to discuss where and when these will occur, although, although some of us probably won't be around for all of them. In the meantime, if you'd enjoy the unique distinction of seeing two total solar eclipses in one place, that's very unique. Start making plans to be in southeastern Missouri, southern Illinois, or western Kentucky on August 21st, 2017, and mark your calendar to do the same for April 8th, 2024. Wow, that ought to be uh, something significant. Okay, other than that, I hope all of you have a wonderful day, and again... X marks the spot. Two total solar eclipses in seven years. All right, everybody, have a good day. Thank you.